Yo, what's up, everybody? What they do? Welcome All to you game a uh, welcome to a new segment of Game Bang. I like to call Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk. Well, it's what happens after the bang. <laughs> <It's> what... <laughs> Granted, First we game, then we bang, baby. Now, now, now we're gonna do Pillow Talk. So, so how you how you feeling, baby? Uh, how you feeling? How you feeling? Uh, kind of, kind of not safe. <laughs> 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 You know where you are? <laughs> you, you in, in the, the jungle, jungle, baby! <laughs> you in the jungle, baby! <laughs> We're gonna die! Yeah! <laughs> um, hey, but, welcome back, guys. You know, the usual. But, uh, yeah. So, this is a little fun little thing I wanted to start doing where we actually get on the camera. Just microphones, no game. But we talk about either the games that we've been playing or something that we're... Like, we're just a certain topic for today's topic obviously of course if you looked at the um the title you looked at that picture on the video the thumbnail the title everything we're talking about harry potter Ooh. we're doing this because of the new hogwarts legacy game coming out oh, because right. obviously we're gonna play it i have no idea how long that game is i'm pretty sure it's a very long ass game it's a pretty fucking big world dude yeah i mean Hell, one of the guys that I've been talking with or whatever, he he's like level 13 and it still hasn't gotten to flying yet. And I'm, I'm like, dang. Well, <laughs> dang. see the thing that I'm afraid of, because I'm the type of person like, like I played uh, Final Fantasy 15. Did you ever mm -hmm. play that game? No. no. So I'm a type of person, especially in open, big open world games like that or like RPGs, I will take my sweet ass time playing it. And get, you and my brother. Yeah, explore every nook and cranny to the point. So where, all the side quests need to be done. Yeah, and to the point where I put like I think um, with Final Fantasy 15, like actual gameplay wise, I'm maybe like maybe five hours in, but I've been playing it for like maybe even less. But I've been playing it for like 20 hours, and I'm at level 20. Oh, good god! And like I said, like. But you still like I'm still at the, like at the almost at, at the, the very beginning. Like, like oh, I just I kind of just arrived here at Hogwarts. Yeah, so that's why I'm kind of like oh god, if that's how the game's gonna be, then man oh man, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long ass game. Shit, I hear that. I mean, they have you like collecting gob not gob stoppers, um, gobstones. Uh, like you, there's all these intricate side quests that it's it's a lot of fun. You know what I mean? And oh my fuck, bro. You think you know how big Hogwarts is? You don't. No, you don't. Oh, I can imagine. You don't. It's I know, so like, fucking vast, dude. You got stairs that go to any and every fucking direction. I know. Um, Did you ever play any of like, uh, like did you play Order of Phoenix or Half-Blood Prince? Mm, they have games for those? Yes, they did. Well, see, the only one I remember playing was Chamber of Secrets on GameCube. So and that was the last game I played. So... I did have Order of the Phoenix. I don't have any more. That game was kind of boring. The issue the, with the movie was kind of boring, <laughs> well, to be honest. Yeah, but I mean, the issue with the game though is how like most of the game was you just going around doing side quests for people of the, like of Dumbledore's army. Like you're at Hogwarts, you're going. Oh, it's like it just seems like a delivery simulator. Well, it's because like you're trying to recruit them, but like I'll I'll join if you do this for me. Uh... So it's basically you're doing all these side quests. For these like kids, for favors, <laughs> and I'm like, favors. and I'm like, fucking hell! I just, I just want to play the game. I want to like, you know, duel and do all that type of shit. But anyway, they recreated Hogwarts, and that recreation was pretty faithful and pretty big. But I can only imagine, like, that was like, that was like a first year PS3 level of graphics oh, yeah. and, and no. technology. The, it's leaps and bounds. <clears throat> yeah, it really ahead. is. Ahead. It really, really is. It's, it's, I feel it, it, it'll take you like a good solid 10 minutes to go from one end of Hogwarts to like the other, or like maybe like five or 10 minutes Damn. or whatever. It's, it's vast, dude. It's see, so I, vast. See, I, don't, I think I told you I played a little bit of it because I got it mm -hmm. and then I played it. And my, P I don't know what's up with the PS5. Like, apparently, like, or just games in general. I I miss the days when it was like you get the physical copy, you put it in there, and then you can just play. Yeah. Now it's like okay, you got the physical <clears> copy. <throat> Not always, because like I remember some PS3 games, you put in the CD, and then you're still like, oh, what was it? Fucking Metal Gear. Oh my god. Well, Hellacious load times and download times. Well, I mean more of like because it's installing the data, but I mean like the PS2 and whatnot. But the point being is, oh that, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, I bought I bought the physical copy of Hogwarts Legacy, and now I'm like I'm sitting there. Um, I'm having to wait for stuff to download so then I can actually play the game. Mm -hmm. And then I play like I guess the intro section. Like I'm going, I'm basically right before you get to Hogwarts. Yeah. And then it's like, all right, come back. Download the rest of the game. <laughs> all right, all right, come back when you download the rest of the game. I'm like, you fuckers. That'd have been funny. It's all like you just finished the demo. That's what it felt like. Now man. go buy the game, and you're like, oh, I thought I did. That's <laughs> what it felt like. But um, what I played of it though, it was fun. I think I was telling you the I have one issue was the camera. It's a <clears> little <throat> too close in for my taste, and because there's like over the shoulder view kind of. Not thing. even over the shoulder. I just want a little wider, because like like if you're walking around, it's fine when like you're walking around. You're just like, oh wow. But like, <laughs> it's the fucking Owen Wilson. I didn't know he was here. Wow. 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 I got I got accepted to Hogwarts. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, we're a wizard now. Wow. Wow. Guardian Levios. <laughs> <laughs> when Guardian Wow Levio. No, mm. no, nah, never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you fucked that one. <laughs> I fumbled that joke big time. Anyway, <laughs> Dumbledore's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dumbledore. 20 points from Slytherin. I know, right? No! 20 points from Slytherin. Like, no. But, um... Uh, and then all of a sudden, you got other Slyver Slytherin, like, classmates that are like, you remember that scene in uh, Full Metal Jacket with the bar of soap inside the... Oh, yeah. They're just fucking beating him with the fucking bars of soap inside the fucking pillowcase. I've never... I've never You're like, fucking teach your ass to I've take 20 points. Fuck it. I've never seen that movie. You've never seen... I was playing with you. I was about to say, man. I'm like... <laughs> I do. I I, I'm, this, I shouldn't be surprised anymore. <laughs> I, I was doing that just because I knew for a fact. I'm like, I have seen the movie, but like, let me just mess with Brent real quick, just because the fact that like he, I, I usually never seen a movie that he talked about. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen it. But anyway, <laughs> um, just so, cinema ain't your thing. What cinema? No, it is. It's just like I've told you before. It's like <laughs> I just don't watch shit. <laughs> I, just, I watch good. I watch good movies. I just don't watch the shit you watch, Brent. Oh, God, Lord. For uh, but anyway, um, we were talking about Slytherin and all that type of stuff. Sorry, my HD brain. Like, no, no, you're crazy. fine. You're fine. And I, as much as I want to talk about movies, it's also like you know, Harry Potter is the topic we're talking no, about. No, no, yeah, yeah. So Just come back to like on. that and whatnot. But anyway, so um, yeah, I've been playing a little bit. I I'm ready to play more of it, but I'm addicted. I'm clearly addicted. As soon as I got my wand, I was like. This For me, it. it was just the issue. Like, I've been having issue after issue after issue. Why I haven't been having, had a chance to come back yet? Mm. And last night, after because um, for those of you who haven't seen the video, we lost all of our data. Um, last Sad. night, because this happened yesterday, but last night I came home from work and I just crashed. Oh yeah. Well, I was exhausted. Well, yeah. Fuck. I was up at two thirty in the morning. Probably went to, finally went to bed like around four o'clock. From the anger of. Realizing all the video footage is deleted. Well, I woke up at two thirty. Actually, edited, then f lost all the data. First thirty minutes was just trying to make sure, hundred percent, like, okay, is there a way to get this back? And then the <clears> next third, no, first thirty minutes was like figure finding out, like, oh, it's all gone. Yeah. Then wow. the next thirty minutes was trying to figure out the problem. That and was then, like me when I couldn't, I couldn't find out how to reset my BIOS because mm -hmm. I I was trying to like. Uh, what was I doing? I think I was trying to do something on overclocking my CPU mm -hmm. or whatever. And so I did something and then it just, it fucking, I, I couldn't, it wouldn't load up my BIOS. And so every time I would try to turn on the computer, it's like fail to start, fail to start, mm -hmm. right? Failed to turn on. And so I spent like a good two hours, right? It's like two in the morning and I have like work at like five in the morning, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I'm just staying up, like fucking head on hands on my head, just freaking out. Till I was like, you know what? Let me just take the BIOS battery out. Took that out for like a minute, put the battery back in, reset BIOS. <laughs> so you're lucky. After all yeah, that, I lucked out. After all that, I spent like an hour just sitting there and just complete and total stupidity of like, I just lost. Like, where is the shit? No, you were kind of you were like John Travolta in um, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, just straight up, like, what do I... <laughs> like, where the worst, fucking go? The worst part about that whole situation was just, like, I'm a type of person where, like, I need to f fig fix this problem now. Yeah. And, like, who the fuck am I going to call at 3.30 in the morning? No one. Not me. <laughs> oh, yeah, no one. Part, no one. 
I couldn't even Shit. call up my dad, who usually knows how to how to fix hard drives, because he's like, he's in, uh, he's on a business trip, and I know for a fact he's exhausted. So I'm like, yeah. Daddy, help me, Dad, help me, Daddy. My father <laughs> will hear about this. <laughs> daddy wasn't there. Uh, no, he daddy was not. He was not there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, I haven't had a chance really much to play it. But let's talk about the other stuff that ha- that we have experience about with Harry Potter. So how did you get into Harry Potter, and what? So- Let's see. I, I, I first was told about Harry Potter in, I think, let me go back, like third grade. Uh, my teacher was like a fucking fanatic for the books. And uh, she would always try to get us kids to, to read it or right. whatever. And oh, she's right. like, oh, have you heard of Harry Potter ever? I'm like, no. And so she sat us like during recess or whatever. She would read like a chapter or two. And... I, I shit you not. I wasn't chilling with any of the other kids. I was just listening to her read the story. What um wait, what grade was this? This was like I think like third or fourth grade. Oh, okay. Cause I know like mm-hmm. my mom, she's Bloody hell. She's a teacher as well. I'm trying my best not to say I'll just bleep out the part of like what grade she taught. Yeah. But she's a teacher. Where did I put you there? She's a teacher and um she um I got her a uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but like it's the the newer one with all the pictures in it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I was like, oh, not like, like the old one where it's just the just, Harry riding a broom off the cover. Or yeah, whatever yeah, no, 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 no. This is the one where like when you're when you're as you read it, there's like pictures all throughout it. Uh, and I figure like, oh, you can read this to your kids. That's my kind of book. Exactly. Pictures. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Though actually, there's two actually now. There's one with the pictures, and then there's one where it's, there is pictures, but it's more like a pop up book. It's still the same chapter book. But there's like pop ups so and interaction. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I would have taken the pop up. Oh, well, same here. <laughs> Fucking taking that pop up. <laughs> oh man, what the? We can edit all this out. No, we cannot. We can't. It's live. This is live. <laughs> Fuck it. We're going live. <laughs> we're going live. Um, <laughs> I guess yeah. You can go ahead and baby. And you want. can just edit that out. I don't care. I'm just dying. But um, she uh yeah. I was trying. To, I got her that, and I thought she was gonna be able to read. You know, stuff to her kids and whatnot. She just doesn't. She doesn't have the she time. She just doesn't know how to read. She, <laughs> she doesn't know how to read. Some teachers she is. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> um, but like, well, like I said, I, I was, she was reading these chapters out to me and stuff. And I, I just was so immersed into the world. Um, but what really got me hooked was watching that first movie, dude. And uh, I mean, just the fucking... The, the cinematic magic, not like the magic in the movie, because clearly it's present or whatever, but it was fucking cinematic magic, dude. They, they, it just, it worked even for a kid my age at the time. I think it helped with the fact that like Christopher Columbus or Chris Columbus, he's the guy that also directed Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Chris Columbus. I don't know. I was about to say, I'm like. I don't know which way. I don't know which way how he goes about. It. Obviously, of course, you know the other Christopher Columbus, but I mean like the director, Chris Columbus, the one who directed Mrs. Doubtfire, and I'm going blank on the other famous uh, movie he directed, Night at the Museum. Ah, uh-huh. someone like him obviously could do a really good job at like, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a children's movie about kids who go to school to become wizards and witches. I'm like, yeah, you know what. You and I think maybe what's his name, Ron Howard, or is it Rob Howard? I think it's Ron. Ron Howard. I think only those are the only two directors who I feel like could <laughs> honestly do it justice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, like I said, it, it was just it granted was... the other directors who worked on those films, good directors. Although I still hate the sixth movie with a passion. <laughs> God, it was trash. Uh, it, I, was I, trash. it was boring and that's just that's it. The it, color it grading wasn't... was terrible. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree on that. It was too. so desaturated, all green. It looked like the fucking Matrix, but none of the style of the Matrix. Yeah, none. Of- <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like the bloom was just at max. All right, it was all fuzzy. But it, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like the like Chris Columbus, like that's the reason why like it was such a magical experience. It was watching those. It f- was, and then not to mention, right, as the years go by and more movies keep coming out and shit, it you. I felt like I, well, technically, I was growing with the movie. So yeah. Harry's getting older, I'm getting older, right? You know, and so when the next movie came out or whatever, the director did such a great job of like aging the character, even the characters themselves or whatever, did such a great the job. Yeah, the actors, yeah. 
just did such a great job of, of like making the characters grow. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Yeah. Um, because like I guarantee you, if if we had like seven, eight movies or whatever where they all acted like in the first, people would stop watching it after the third. Well, I think also that's even something they mentioned like in I think the third one was that um. I don't remember if Goblet of Fire clapped ass cheeks. That's all I gotta say, man. Which I was su- like, damn. I'm surprised. You you never read the books though, right? Uh, like I said, I've read the first. I haven't. Okay. I read the f- first and second. I haven't read anything after. Okay. That. I know for me, growing up, I tried reading some of the books. I just I can't read. <laughs> I don't know how to read good. Um, tell me about the rabbits. <laughs> tell me about the rabbits, George. <laughs> tell me about the rabbits. Um, the reason why I stopped reading them, I know, because every time like. I would start. I would start reading them. The spine would start like, kind of like deteriorating. And oh. At one point in time, like it was the Order of the Phoenix. I was reading that so often, and then I accidentally dropped it, and it just split into two. So that's why I was like, "Fuck!" So, so kind of how like they did in the movie. No, like, <laughs> like what was it? Um, Deathly Hollows was one book. Yes. And then they fucking made two movies out of it, or whatever. Well, uh, the reason why they did that for a couple reasons. One was they felt like it was just too epic. And there's a lot of stuff going on in that movie that they needed to bring up. In well, the not two. to mention it's the last of the whole entire series, so got to milk that money. That too. That was the other reason. Got a good guess. Which is why money. after that one, every other fucking like, oh, we're bringing a, a movie off of like a storybook. It's the finale. We got to bring it up into two because Harry Potter did it. Well, fucking Fuck. Star Wars did the same shit. I think. No. Didn't it? No. The only one. The only, there's only two that I think that did it. Which was the Hunger Games? I think it was the Hunger Games did that. Oh yeah, they had like part one, part two, and fifteen. And then Twilight did that. Which again, I don't know why because directors, directors, <sighs> directors. I but like I said, it I felt like it just it made me more immersed into the world. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because I'm growing with them. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, like like not gonna lie, even my first crush was like. Who's my my first crush? I was like my first crush originally was Kimberly from the Pink Ranger, right? From Power Rangers or whatever. I I think that was I did watch. Who Power wasn't? R- who wasn't? It was her. It was also what's what's her name? Sarah from fucking. Uh, See the thing is, oh, what's Hocus Pocus? In Hocus Pocus, you got the three witches. Oh, right? I don't. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's the one that was played by um Sarah uh, Silverman, Jim Carrey's wife. It's actually Matthew Broderick's wife. Oh, shit. My bad. So <laughs> sorry, Jim Carrey. <laughs> so sorry. And Matthew Broderick's wife. God, fuck. I miss that guy. Matthew Broderick. But anyways, we're getting far <laughs> off topic. Look at ADD. But uh, but like I said, yeah, you, I, I grew with them. And I noticed that their attitudes changed as well, got older, whatever. Yeah, that was the thing. It was um the, the director, I think it was the third one, talked about that. Was just uh, either, it was either him or... Or was Daniel Radcliffe mm. had mentioned how like the third one was really where they started like I think giving it their all in the acting department. Um, I mean, there were kids. Yeah, you know, you know, <clears throat> they were kids, but it's like the older they got, they're like, you know what? I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever I can to like give more depth to the character, yeah. right? Um, and like I said, I I quite enjoyed the movies up to like. Uh, Goblet of Fire was like I said great fucking great you know the action everything else was awesome I did not like Half Blood Prince because the fact that it was you're a right rom-com. it was just a very monotone movie it was a rom they turned it more into a teenage rom-com yeah yeah like and he was, I was more concerned about Chow or Chow fuck what was Chun? it Chun Chun Chow my god that's fucked you're playing to too say. much you're playing too much Sonic <laughs> right, but no. too much Sonic. That was in the fifth one. She... Oh, it's the Chan, Chris Chan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that was in the fifth one. Where after the fifth one, after the whole incident with the whole like she squealed on them. Oh yeah, yeah. which the, that didn't happen. By the way, spoilers. it didn't happen in the book. Yeah, the spoiler it didn't happen in the books. In yeah. the book, it was her friend. And you can't really blame her, dude, because she was fucking. She was drugged. Uh, you know, yeah, what I mean? she had a truth serum on her. Yeah, she was. Which drugged is why and I shit. was kind of like. Cause like if they didn't if they didn't put that in there yeah then she's a bitch yeah she's a that's baby back bitch dude. that's the reason why like whenever I like whenever Harry basically like just didn't want to talk to him that's why Harry's all like 
the betrayal believe, on his face, I can't dude. believe you've done this. <laughs> right? Oh, fuck. can't <laughs> believe you've done this. <laughs> right? <laughs> you tried to slut. You cunt. <laughs> but it's because of stuff like that. That's why I'm kind of like, I'm sitting here like, it wasn't her fault. But it wasn't. It wasn't her fault. But I, like, I also, like, that's another thing, though. I do not think that he should have ended up with Ginny. Yeah. We had mentioned this in our Chamber of Secrets playthrough, but... Uh, that shit's gone. Hope, as far as we know, hopefully as far, we can get it. Hopefully Western Digital can fucking get it back. Yeah. Um, or if anything, um, hopefully... Uh, yeah, we had mentioned it. Granted, also, you were exhausted at that point in time. Oh, he yeah. was starving and like, I just want food. Uh, just the food. All the food. Um, but... Well, but back to what I was saying, like... You would probably enjoy like the- it. Just it. I I couldn't help but grow up with it, and grow up into the world. You know what I mean. But I felt like it became not not necessarily less magical. You know what I mean. Um, I feel like because that's the same with me. I I loved the series up until Goblet of Fire. After Goblet of Fire, yeah, I felt like it lost its its magic. <laughs> Best to say it. I say it's too corporate, and I feel like it's not so much as corporate. As it, it was, is like that was when they really started taking a lot of liberties with, mm-hmm. like the movies and whatnot. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you know what? Let's take out a little bit of like the mysticism and the magic of this world and, and go on. more focused into the relationship of these individuals. And so that's how I feel like it was robbed of the magic of the movie because the fact that you're giving us stuff that we already deal with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like on a day to day or whatever. Like, oh, I like her, but does she know I like me? Or you know, kind of shit. Stuff like that. But I think it's also just I, I, I would just, I was not a fan of it either. Which, although going back on it now, I am surprised as much as how much I love Goblet of Fire mm. because I think I mentioned it. the The director was not a huge fan of the book. Like he read it, he was like, "Man, it's so fucking thick." I'm like, "That's what she said." <laughs> He's like, there's so many pages and not enough pictures. <laughs> Where are the pictures in this book? What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> but he didn't like, the, one, he didn't like the book as much. And then there's a lot of... um. But the book was way better, I heard. Like, in terms of, like, Order of the Phoenix and... Well, so the book of Goblet of Fire had a lot more mystery around it. Mm. Like, there are certain elements of, like, spoilers for those who are about to, like, watch this or listen to this i forgot i tell you i think i'm gonna throw these on spotify yeah. <laughs> so anyway um so in the book there was a mystery behind barty crouch jr of whether or not he is alive whether or not he was guilty of doing all the stuff that he did there's a lot of stuff surrounding him and because of in the opening sequence, like when Voldemort and Wormtail are talking, oh, it automatically puts you. You already know, like okay, you already this know. A lot. Yeah. Now, granted, though, you don't know who this person is until later on in the movie when, like, Harry goes and sees that court. Well, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like every time that motherfucker licks his mouth, he's like, ah, ah. Oh, and that was the other thing. Ah, ah. and that, in the movie, you're like, that's him. You know, <laughs> you're like, that's fucking Waldo. <laughs> That's Barty, <laughs> right? Um, but that he, that also was not even in the book. In the book, well, no, I'm I'm just speaking like strictly in terms of the movie. Oh yeah, no, no, like no, in no, the movie, you could tell who it was right off the bat. But that's the the whole point as well. Like, there's a mystery around like, did he die? Because in the book, he was sent to Azkaban, mm-hmm. and then basically like his mom and was dying, it was like close to dying, and so basically, uh, she. She wanted to go see her, her son one last time before she passed away. Mm-hmm. But they came also up with this other, um, with this uh, other, uh, with this plan to get him out of Azkaban, which was to essentially what they did was um, they brought Polyjuice Potion. They made him look like her and her look like him. And what they did is they swapped bodies. So she stayed in Azkaban, died. And, but the thing is also, uh, Barty who Crouch, was that? Barty Crouch Jr. and his mom. And so the mom sacrificed herself to save the son because she was already about to die. Oh, and she's like, I am about to die, so <clears> you <throat> go. And the Dementors, they don't really, they don't have eyes, obviously. So they yeah. were just like, they just sensed two people. They sensed a person close to dying coming in, and they sensed a person almost dying coming going out. 
Oh, wow. And so basically, that's why there's a mystery behind that. And it's stuff like that. Like, yeah, the Goblet of Fire. That would have been really cool if they saw it in the movie. Yeah. But it is what it is. Damn, that's that's deep. Some deep fucking sinister shit. There's that. Apparently, the other thing that happened was that, um, again, spoilers, uh, Barty Crouch Jr., he gets the Dementor's kiss. What is that? It's when the Dementor kisses you and sucks your soul out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bro, like what what was happening to Harry? Yeah. But so like, he received that as well? He, Barty Crouch Jr. gets <clears> the whole, <throat> like it's action. He, he, he gets his soul sucked out. And dies that way. Yes. And the reason why, well, he doesn't die. Oh. You just, you, you don't die when you get your soul sucked out. You just go into a vegetative state. Oh, okay. okay. No memories, no happy thoughts, no nothing. You're just an empty shell. Wow. But that's the reason why, like, and the reason that was such a big deal was because he was supposed to essentially testify to say, oh, yeah, Lord Voldemort's back. Yeah. And then turns out, like, oh, that's gone now. Mm, yeah, apparently- he's a fucking vegetable. <laughs> yeah. So. <clears throat> like I said, it, it was all good in and out. I really, really enjoyed the movies. I recommend reading the books. I recommend that. Also, you know, although I, I just, didn't, I just didn't think that last book was a. I thought it was a real book, but it's a fucking play. It's oh, like the all in the, wrote oh, in the uh, screen. Curse right? Child, Curse Child? Child. Yeah, I have yet to read that one, most because all the books I didn't read them. I listened to them on audiobook. Audible, oh. sponsor my ass, please. <laughs> I love your product. Please sponsor me. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like I want the guy who voiced uh, Golem. <laughs> oh yeah, Andy Circus. <laughs> yeah. Did I tell you about that? What? So, he read The Hobbit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he did that. And then they also re-recorded all the stuff for all the Lord of the Rings trilogy, where he narrates the entire trilogy. Oh, wow. And I'm like, I haven't That'd be the- fucking interesting. Because that's like, that's like reading the books with Christopher Lee. So, there is a, not the Lord of the Rings book, but you know how, like, there's the spinoffs, like the Cimmerillion and all that oh, stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. There is one where it was read by Christopher Lee. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I'm like, oh. <gasps> Nerding out over here, <laughs> big time. <laughs> um, but I don't. I think for me also, it was I watched the I watched the movies first, and there was such a magic behind it. Tried reading the books, but I think as I said, my books always almost got destroyed. Oh, look at you with your Slytherin yeah. socks, yeah, Harry Potter socks. I don't, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't see that on the camera. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I don't Do know like you can this. See it. Do it like this. Do it like this. There it is. The big words. Oh, fuck, I'm wearing it backwards. <laughs> That's why I can't Look, see it. Please. <laughs> well, no, like your other, your, other, your other sock. Like, bring your pants up. Now, move your leg over in that direction. Oh, oh here we go. There we go. Yeah, zoom in on that. Zoom in if on you're that. You're able to see it. For those of you who it's are... It's like, get a, get a big old crop shot of there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for those of you who are... But that's that's what that's what really got me into them. You know, after watching the movies and watching the first and second, I just got hooked. And I'm like, you know what? It's going to... Anytime this comes out, I'm going to make sure I buy the tickets ahead of time. And it was... Like I said, it was a lot of fun growing up with that stuff. But uh, I think the surprising part for me is after the fourth one, I really lost interest in the in the, the series. <clears throat> it was, and I mean, like, in general. I mean, don't get me wrong. The best part about the Order of the Phoenix movie... Or no, 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 about the Half-Blood Prince movie, right? Because I think Order of the Phoenix and Half-Blood Prince were, like, both, eh. You know, it was definitely Hollows that really brought it back. I could honestly skip those two movies. Exactly, exactly, and be perfectly fine. But the only part that I really didn't enjoy, and I think think it was Half-Blood Prince, is when fucking Harry gets some revenge on Malfoy. Oh, yeah. And he hits him with that Sever Sempra or whatever. Sectum Sempra. Sectum Sempra or whatever. Yeah. He he cuts the motherfucker, like, in fucking Blood In, Blood Out. He's the, like... Orale. <laughs> Orale, you like that cutty cut? You know what I mean? And shit. But uh it was it was just like fuck Harry, you fucked him up. And then Severus <laughs> fucking just sees it all and shit. And I'm like, damn, dude, he gutted him. Well, the other part that's even more He was gonna die, you know? He was really gonna die. And if Severus, Severus was wasn't there. Yeah. To hit him with that. First aid. Ave Guardium Super Glue. <laughs> <laughs> the little first aid, a little medicine thing he was doing. I think for me, uh, I do say there was only one other part where the Order of the Phoenix I really do enjoy, which was the, the house opening. 
in closing. Oh, no, not that. Not like Severus's other. house? Sirius's. Oh, Sirius's house. My bad. Black's house. It was uh, Dumbledore versus Voldemort. Oh, yeah. That was a fucking good fight. That was, that that was, was a good fight. That bro. was when two peak wizards were fighting. That's like... Yeah. Because all Because like, I like that part. He's like, oh, the fireball. Yeah. And then he turns it all to glass or whatever and shit. And mm-hmm. then he shatters that said glass and does like a sandstorm thing or whatever. You know what? A little interesting fact about that uh, that fight scene. So you remember the the part where like Vold- or Dumbledore like basically puts uh, Voldemort like in a water uh, ball thing? Yeah, yeah. So want, want me to tell you how they actually like CGI created that? They actually took footage of actual real water and they just mashed it around and used that. So it's really, really it's cool. It's like I've done that in fucking paint. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that in Windows paint. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that. And then, yeah, Order the or Half-Blood Prince could honestly skip that movie. And here we're supposed to be talking about what do we like? What's our favorite movies? Mine it is... It was funny. Like, don't get me wrong. It was some parts that were funny, like Ron... Uh, Ron uh, fighting with Harry over the book or whatever and shit. Severus's old, old potions book. I don't remember them ever fighting. Is it Order of the Phoenix or is that... No, that's Half-Blood Prince. In Half-Blood Prince, there is a book, which is... they they It was the book. That's how he learns Se- Sectum yeah, Sec- Sempra or whatever. Sectum Sempra and... All this other stuff, and excuse me, um, I don't remember the fighting. I always remember it being Hermione. Excuse me, because Hermione was the one who was all like, "You need to get rid of that book." Cause yes, the, cause yes. Even in the book, but it, it's right when Harry gets the book that that was the fight oh, between yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They were all like, it was like a playful fight because it's the last book in the cupboard, the last good book in the cupboard. Versus this one that looks Versus all... this decrepit fucking, <laughs> you know, one that grew up in Fourth Ward or whatever, Fifth <laughs> Ward or whatever and shit. It's a and uh, it's a thugged out book. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that one book at like every fucking high school where it has like cocks and that fucking one little S gang sign fucking shit where everybody's like, oh, yeah, I know how to make the S his name. No, it's like, yeah, but you, you, he got that textbook and shit. You know the one where the pages kind of stick together a little bit? You yeah. you gentlemen know what I'm talking about, you know? It's the one when they put, like, mustaches on people's faces. Or yeah. They put... They put there or they like, emphasize that, like, in, I remember in history class or whatever, there was this one book, and we had... um. Uh, what was it? It was like this this one African chick or whatever. She's wearing this like elaborate dress thing or something uh-huh. or whatever. But we always were like, because you can see titties. They yeah. they show you the real footage or oh, whatever. Really? Yeah, they show you real I, pictures I never got those on the textbooks. They show you real pictures of uh, the women or whatever and shit. Mm. And so you saw some titties or whatever. And <laughs> I shit you not, every 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 time, man, you would uh, you just at a fucking pile of books. You just grab one and then bam, there's always something drawn over that lady's tits or whatever <laughs> and stuff and uh but that's that anyways we got far <laughs> off topic on that one now you got me remembering titties from like fucking fifth grade and shit <laughs> but it it's it's like he he ended up getting that book and then that's when he was like oh okay i don't need to cut it i need to crush it you know for, yeah. the, for the death potion or whatever mm-hmm. but that that was a good movie but like i said it, it was a shitty movie. We literally have been shitting on it this yeah, entire time. Yeah, we have been shitting on and it. Like, that was a good movie. It's like, no, it's good, not. That was a good part. <laughs> yes, good, there we go. I liked it when he found the book. You know what I mean? So, but Because um, I know also like in the vlog, because I've been editing it, obviously, you said your favorite is Chamber of Secrets. Or you, it was between it, that it is, and Goblet of Fire. It, I think the most action-packed for me was Goblet. was Goblet of Fire. Yeah. That was fucking great. That That's was a great the reason movie. why. I, and like... Hermione, like I said, I had a huge crush on her and stuff, and she's a she becomes a woman at that point. <laughs> That's the what's funny is how like is how far different it is like in the books versus the movie. So in the book, this is a very big scene. Like I know the part when she comes out like in the dress. Yeah. In the book, it's a very big deal because at this point in time, Hermione is like she's not the prettiest girl. Well, that's that, and I. I wish they kind of. Oh no, I don't wish they did that in the movie because you know Emma Watson needs to stay pretty for all her life. You know she's gonna stay pretty for all her life. She could be like fucking ninety eight, 
tits hitting the floor and I'd still be all wet about it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just saying. Jesus Christ. Just saying. <laughs> you know, but, um, but like, yes, in the books, She's not pretty. Yeah, she's got buck teeth, bushy, yeah, she's bushy hair. Fucking bushy, bushy, bushy hair. You know, shit. It's like she fucking put a fork in the light socket. You know <laughs> what I mean? Just, whoop, yeah, almost fro like. Yeah, you know. Um, and so in the books, that's supposed to be a big deal. That and she does. She does have buck teeth and freckles. Yeah. And you know, so it's like, and then you see her now, just this goddess. Of fucking beauty and shit. What's funny is that even Daniel Radcliffe has made that comment at the same time. I would too. I would too. Because he's like, it's supposed to be a big deal that her mind. If I was like Luke Skywalker and I'm like, you know, Leia be looking pretty fucking fine. I'd do the same shit. Well, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm talking more about like how Daniel Radcliffe had mentioned how like it's supposed to be like her mind going from like average to like looking beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. he's like. Her, Emma's always looked beautiful, but this, she looks even more beautiful now. Yeah, I mean, you're you're absolutely right, absolutely right. Like, she was fucking gorgeous in that dress, yeah. but she's fucking gorgeous all the time. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And uh, but it does make sense that in the book, it's like night and day. Yeah, you know what I mean? And that's why like Harry and Ron are just like, oh my god, who the fuck is that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know um, my favorite my favorite movie because you know, the whole point was that we're supposed to be talking about what our favorite stuff and yeah, this right, entire man. time we've been shitting on Half Blood Prince. Yeah, like, we have. This is why this movie sucks ass. Let me explain to you. But my favorite one is between Goblet of Fire and Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner Ooh, of Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. That's not a bad one. It's the most cinematic, and there's just so much about that movie that I'm just like. Fuck, this is a good I, movie. I like the werewolf aspect. For me, it was... I don't know what it was about it. I do know also the music in that movie is like... It, it was more... It, okay, so notch. to me, it was more so a movie of the Dementors. Like, the Dementors was the real villain there. You it, know what I mean? That was, which... I remember when I was a kid, I was terrified of them. They looked creepy. They, they, um, they just creeped me the hell out. Yeah. And it was interesting, like, because the way they wrote, or the way, like, in the movie, as you're witnessing it or whatever, like, you think that it's Peter's dad that came in and saved him, you know? Or Severus Peter, Snape. you mean Harry? Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But, I mean, like, well, nobody know, you, in the audience knew that at the you time. You said Peter. Isn't that his father? You're Peter. You said Peter's dad. Oh, Peter's dad. My bad. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> we can edit all that out. No. <laughs> it's like, no, it's Harry's dad. Yeah, no, but Harry's dad is Peter, right? No, James. James Potter. Fuck me. I Peter forgot. Pettigrew. Peter Pettigrew. The guy that portrayed You're right. Harry's dad. You're right, that little Peter. Yeah, everybody thought it was James that Potter. That reminds me. That, that was like the one thing that never made, has recently not been making sense to me. So when James and Lily died, mm -hmm. they're like 21 years old. They died when they were like 31. 21. They literally got in the book. They died at twenty one. Yeah, in the book they died at twenty one. Wow! And the fact that like the way how they the actors that are portraying them, they look like they're in like their mid thirties. Oh no, fuck! They they were like fucking thirty eight, thirty nine. They yeah. were already at the end of their life. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but that's the part to me. I'm kind of like, oh my goodness! Like that's also the same thing with like Sears Black. He's supposed to. Essentially, be like his twenty-one plus thirteen at that time. They'd be like thirty-five years old. Yeah. And yet, uh, what's um, Gary Oldman when he played Sirius Black is like forty-five years old. So it's like, yeah, that's a <clears throat> that thirty-five-year-old looking a little like he's got a couple, <laughs> a little bit more, couple age on him, a couple more years on him. It does. Technically, so, he does. Yeah, that was the one part for me. I was really surprised about that. But no, oh, Prisoner of Azkaban. I think it's my f one of my favorites. That's a good one. That's that is a good one. You know, like you watch the first one to like witness the magic of the world. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just like wow. You're just like fuck wow. But then you watch the second one or whatever, and you still have that like oh I'm still tied to the magic and I'm still seeing all these new things or whatever and shit. Oh my gosh, is that a mandrake? You know what I mean? And but like, 
Yeah, you know, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mini me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From like fucking Austin Powers, you pull him out. It's and just... then the third one. Did I ever tell you that, by what the way? What was the third? The third one was Goblet of Fire, wasn't it? Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, Prisoner of Azkaban, yeah. And uh, the Prisoner of Azkaban one was really, really good. And I really did enjoy the... Uh, but I felt like it was more... How can I explain it? Because you have, like, the almost potential death of the hippogriff, you know? Um, Spoilers. Oh, well. I'm if you kidding. haven't fucking seen <laughs> that kidding. movie by now, you know. I'm just kidding. I'm just good kidding. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, to me, it felt like it was more not the unification of friendship. You know what I mean? Because you that was established in like the first and second movie or whatever. But like I felt like he got a lot closer to like both. Ron and Hermione. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or or no, not even that. You know what? Let me back up. It was more so that they they defended themselves more now. Does that make sense? Like they were like, fine. okay, they were, like they Hermione were... would she would just catch shit all the time for being a mudblood or being half human. I mean, they were finally coming into like I guess being a little bit <clears throat> adult yeah, that's. That, I felt like that's really where it kicked off. Yeah. You know, where they're like, you know what? I'm an individual. I'm, I'm, like, I have more say in this world. You know, yeah. kind of thing. Um, I can agree with that. It's just hard to get the word out. I mean, adulthood. Yeah. Ad adolescence, I guess you could yeah. say. To getting out of adolescence and into adulthood. Like I, I'm adult enough to make my own decisions, or they were. Um, I'm old enough to be outside of these fucking hours. <laughs> I guess, I guess the best way to put it is because it was right around the same time they were becoming teenagers. Well, yeah, yeah, makes you sense. Um, <clears throat> and it worked. Like I said, I grew up with the movies as they were growing up, and now, so when the, when I was 18, they were 18. When I, got, I was 15, they were 15. I have one more other question because we're already like I think 43 minutes. Oh shit. And um, just because it's this is still part of the whole series and whatnot, and we talked about how a Goblet of Fire that was kind of like when they started losing the magic mm -hmm. when we went to like like five, after Goblet of Fire yeah, yeah. after Goblet like five six seven what about Fantastic Beasts did you see those movies oh gosh Fantastic well that that's the one thing that was missing in all those movies the magic. No, 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 oh, no. The, the fucking animals. The bestiality. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I, now I wonder why they put the that fucking big rhino in the, in the You know first what's one. cool? So apparently that's actually one of the rare pat <laughs> Patronuses I found out. And that is a fucking awesome Patronus. Apparently. See, my first one was a rhino, but... It wasn't the magical it rhino. It wasn't, it wasn't the... Uh, so the cool thing about the magical rhino... Is that it can actually blow up uh, Dementors. Well, yeah, with this tusk, right? Yeah. It's one tusk. Well, anything. Anything it pokes, it, it explodes. magically explodes. Yeah, yeah, but it's like one of the only Patronuses that can actually like just delete a, a Dementor. Oh, no shit. Just delete. <laughs> delete button. That's fucking great. But yeah, that that's because the fact that, that what made that movie great is that you're seeing animals that you've always... I mean... You spent 20 years watching all these movies mm -hmm. and didn't see one fucking other animal. You know what I mean? The hippogriff. Right? Centaur. You can probably name Centaur, we count it. all the animals that you've watched out of all those movies on your hand. Phoenix, Basilisk, uh, Hippogriff. What were those things in the fifth one that you can only see after seeing dead people? Um, Those are the... Uh, I think it's a start with an N? No. No, yeah. Thestrals. Thestrals, yeah, that's the T. So Phoenix, Basilisk, Thestrals, Hippogriff, um, Dragons. Those mermaids. Mermaids. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's about it. You know what I mean? So you got like six animals out of how many Does movies? Centaur Eight count? Movies? Does Centaur count? No, I wouldn't count. Unicorn. It. Unicorn, yeah, yeah. Sp uh, the spider, spider, the giant spiders. That's an insect. That ain't an animal. Oh no, <laughs> they're called um, gore. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, future Adam, throw it up there. Yeah. What it is? Yeah. Unless you're listening to the audio on Spotify, sorry, you don't get that. Um, I was fucking gonna say like 
leader of the Gorgonites. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little small soldiers up in this bitch. <laughs> but but um, um, I would have to say, <clears throat> I feel like, like that that movie. What Fantastic Beasts? Fantastic Beasts, specifically Fantastic Beasts, because there's a reason why. I felt like that movie really brought back the magic. Oh well, yeah, hell yeah, hell and yeah. um, and then even even that case. His fucking briefcase being like a whole building, a whole, a whole zoo. zoo. World. Yeah, yeah, just a whole zoo of animals, and just these animals are fucking crazy looking, and they're cool looking, and and even some of the food that they're given floats and shit like that or whatever. And it it's, I th- I feel that that's what made that movie great is that it reestablished the mysticism in the world. Yep, it reestablished. Like, oh my god, what the fuck is that? It's badass looking. And then, not that I don't really care much for, uh, what do you call it, Crimes of Grindelwald or even Dumbledore's Secret or Secrets of Dumbledore. I watched them both. They were all good. I watched them both. It was just more so like that was basically kind of going back to the Harry Potter formula of like, let's take out all the wonder and magic <clears throat> and focus more on a story, which... Now, you can't, you can't deny that the fighting has been like fucking great. Oh yeah, again because you're no- and then you're also seeing new. Here's that's another thing I should bring up is that you're also seeing new aspects of the magical world, right? You didn't know what an aura was, yeah, until you watched like Fantastic Beasts. Well, or what? Or actually, no, I'm sorry, could, Deathly Hollows and I was say you and, could look uh, at like a Mad Eye Moody and like, yeah. that's a that's an aura right yeah. there. Yeah, but I mean like also the American houses, you know? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. You know, I didn't know there was a wizarding place in America. I didn't know that there was, I guess, different governments per di- per countries and whatnot. Yep. Mm-hmm. Until, yeah, I guess uh, the whole... It's like sectors they watch over or whatever. Yeah. But, <clears throat> I mean, I guess like that, that there is different aspects, different wonders that you can get from it. It's a shame that they're basically scrapped. And I, dude, I loved the regular human guy. Oh, being uh, like fucking thrown into that world. What's I want to say Wachowski. Yeah, Wachowski. Yeah, or okay. whatever. He that was fucking awesome. Because the whole time he's like either like ah! or just like <laughs> just an awe, just an awe. And and you're like, dude, I've seen that face because that was my face when I first watched <laughs> this shit. You know. I was wondering though, because like, I remember I saw the trailer for the last one that came out. I thought like, man, they're actually about to make him a wizard. Well, that's are they? No, no. Spoilers. Oh. <laughs> it, Dumbledore, I think, gave him a fake wand. He, he gives him a... Uh, uh, it, it's a wand with no core. Yeah. Or so whatever. As like... So a stick. <laughs> Let's be honest. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> made of mahogany <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh shit you even stained it too my <laughs> god damn Dumbledore you the man <laughs> but he's like oh my gosh he, it's like wait he gave me balsa wood <laughs> he gave me, it's like this fucking particle board fucking wand you got me <laughs> that reminds me I just want to make a little quick joke unless because if that footage never gets to go out boo hoo for me I find it really messed up that Pottermore for my wand, whenever I did it this last Saturday with you and Brett, they gave me lime wood. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, why? Oh, yeah, that's Mex- right. We were all like, oh, Mr. Caliente. I was like, why? Because I'm Mexican. Because I'm Mexican, you're going to give me lime wood? All right, whatever. He's like, they gave him cilantro lime wood. <laughs> <laughs> but I I do feel like it's a shame that like they, they basically... Um, they're scrapping all those the because there was supposed to be I think two more movies for the Fantastic Beast series, and they just stopped. Why? Yeah, because Grindelwald survived. Well, spoilers. Because it didn't. So Crimes of Grindelwald. Well, plus you have that one guy who what Ezra. Ezra Miller. Yeah, fucking. So Crimes of Grind- Grindelwald. That guy's weird, dude. He's doing some weird shit. Yeah, Crimes of Grindelwald underperformed. At the box office. And then Secrets of Dumbledore had to do good as well. And it didn't. But also at the same time, one, you had to deal with the trial of Johnny Depp and recasting. uh, What's his name? Fucking Grindelwald. Well, Grindelwald, I mean, I don't remember the actor's name. It's a very, it's a very European Swedish name, I believe. I think he's Swedish. I hope he's Swedish. Otherwise, Mm. you're talking about the guy that was in uh... Rogue One. Yeah, he was also in... um... 
Hannibal? <clears throat> Casino Royale. Oh yeah, that he played a... Hannibal in uh, the show. Yeah. Um, they they had a recast Grindelwald. They also had a film during COVID. They had a postponed film because of COVID. So of all of that stuff, there was just so much. Plus also of just all of the stuff that Crimes of Grindelwald did to it. Because you know it's one of those things where it's like the sequ- if one if the sequel does bad, that means a lot of those sequels have a lot to prove. Oh yeah. So because of all of that, that's why it underperformed. And now because of that, it's like, oh, we're gonna scrap this entire idea. Idea. Now we're gonna basically recreate all of um, Harry Potter again. Like they're gonna like you know how they do like a reboot. They're gonna do all that. I'm like, please, for the love of God, don't. It's not even been ten yeah, years. It's like. <clears throat> Let's like, if that's the case, let's reboot all the Star Wars movies. You know what I mean? Let's reboot all the Chucky movies. Disney, we're not being serious. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Oh, let's go ahead and fucking reboot Nightmare on Elm Street while you're at it. Yeah. You know, I mean, they brought it back. They tried to do it, but they couldn't, they couldn't fucking continue. Yeah. Like, like, I don't really see like a point of rebooting it, especially since <clears throat> the, it, the whole series ended like, what was it? 2012? So like yeah, so less year, than less than a little oh, about ten years a ago. A little over ten years ago, that's when like the whole series ended. And now we want to like do a reboot again when I'm like, please don't. Although I am fucking amazed that they're they're not bringing back, they're continuing Mel Brooks's History of the World Part Two. I haven't even seen part one yet. Oh bro. Look that bro. that by far, I mean it's it's almost like because like the first movie was fucking great. All his move, all Mel Brooks's movies are great. They would. I'm surprised it's getting made, and I say that only because not that I'm not a fan of Mel Brooks. I'm. I love his movies. No, no, it's super, dude. The first one was racial. That's what I mean by a lot. Super of, racial, and it was so shit, funny. A lot of the shit that Mel Brooks made back in the day, mm-hmm. you could not make. Oh yeah. Day. Well, he said it himself. They asked him. They're like, "Hey, man, why would you make a Blazing Saddles too?" And he was like, <laughs> "I would fucking love to do that." But I can't. And they're like, why? He's like, dude, it's the day and age we live in. You know what I mean? It's too sensitive nowadays. Yeah. But I have hope because, like, they have these reaction videos to people, like, people of ethnic color watching Mm -hmm. uh, Blazing Saddles. Every fucking one of them were like, oh, my gosh. Almost 98% of the whole movie is, like, offensive. Oh, yeah. But they're like a hundred percent okay with it because it was just funny. It was purely out of comedy. They didn't do it off of like because oh this is my political stance or this is how I she's shit mm-hmm. or whatever. But they they recognized that this was pure comedy, just a comedy movie, and they were able to take it in and accept it for what it was. And they were like, "Would you watch this again or recommend it to any other anybody else?" They're like, "Fuck yeah." <laughs> they're like, "Fuck yeah, man! I want to show my grandma this shit." <laughs> you know? And it's like, "Yes." <laughs> I know, um, shit, I had something I was going to say, and I can't remember what I was going to say, but, yeah, no, like, that, they, sh- fuck, what the <laughs> fuck, was, fuck, what was I going to say, it's like, because now it feels awkward, like, what, oh, Mel Brooks, or, the it, it had something to do with Mel Brooks, and granted, we gotta, gotta start wrapping it up soon, yeah, yeah, because we're, like, at an hour now, um, well, there's a lot to cut, we can, <clears throat> We'll see. Because yeah, <laughs> a lot of this has been... The cool part, though, is how I'm going to edit it. It should be real nice and easy. Yeah. It's not going to be like the podcast we did where I had to go... And then back. find out where the audio matches the... Well, audio syncing is really easy. But anyway. um, No, I agree. Like, there's shit that like Mel Brooks made that you just couldn't do now. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Or even half the Jewish jokes that he did in Spaceballs. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Now I remember the one thing that like I'm surprised that if Mel Brooks would be able to write like something like that, because he's getting old, dude. He's getting old. That's why like I'm surprised he that is, like, I mean, holy crap! I'm surprised he showed up on the trailer, or he 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 literally oh he he tells people about it. He's like, hey, I'm Mel Brooks. Uh, remember History of the World Part One? Well, I'm coming out with two. Here it is. Just you curious, know? Mel Brooks. <clears throat> how old is he? He's probably like 89 or in his 90s. I can't look it up right now. And I don't he was like relatively an older man when my dad was like a fucking. Oh, same. yeah. He's like 96 years old. Yeah, there he is. is fucking old. Jeez, still kicking around. Hey, that's that's what makes Mel Brooks awesome. Uh. But and his son, his fucking son, Mel Brooks, 
Mel Brooks' son, he wrote the Zombie Survival Guide. Mm -hmm. I believe. No, no, I'm sorry. He wrote World War Z. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he wrote the book of World War Z. That that movie that you guys saw, Brad Brad Pitt fucking is the main character. The zombie movie where Brad Pitt's the main character. I know that. I could have sworn that was like, uh, what was it, Stephen King's son, but go on. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. You can look it up. Look it up. I'll look it Mel up later. Brooks, <laughs> and it's fucking future Adam. Look it up, and then World War Z. <laughs> put it up there. And yeah, he's for those huge of you in audio, the Sorry, scene. look it up yourself. Huge in the zombie scene. Mm-hmm. But either way, um, well, this has been fun. This has, like, indubitably informative. Yeah, I feel like we should Quite definitely we should definitely keep on doing stuff like this where we just talk about what it is we're doing. And plus, it puts a face to the. That too. little emoji thing that we got on the game bay. <laughs> I think I told you I want to try and actually start moving away from those. Not that I don't like them. I I, I do like them. It's just there's only so much I can do with them. Ah, uh, yeah. Because yeah. I can't liquefy and like do Photoshop without it looking really horrific. Mm. But hey, you know, why don't we actually toss it out to the... Uh, I mean, that the is viewers. the one thing is definitely I want to try and do also more community posts and whatnot. Because mm. I can do that. And be like, which one you prefer? The real deal? Oh, shit. Yeah, we're all gonna fall out of this. It's a roller coaster. It's like the real deal or the little emoji face. Yeah, but you know? let us know, and yeah. we'll keep on doing these right there in the bottom county. So that way, also now you can actually see the faces that are that you've been hearing yes, from during the game yes. bang and whatnot. I, f- I just feel like my chin <laughs> in the in the picture, the little emoji picture or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, it's like fucking huge. My chin don't stick out like that, <laughs> and it's like you get the weird angle one, and it's like. <laughs> like a witch <laughs> well fuck <laughs> here comes the crimson chin <laughs> right yeah that's how I feel <laughs> fucking feel even Marissa said that. I'm so surprised you said that cause she said that to me crimson chin yeah she was all like who's the crimson chin little fucker <laughs> over here I'm like that's my emoji page I paid 60 bucks for that <laughs> shit <laughs> But yeah, you let us know. Do you want more Photoshop of us with real faces, or do you want the the? Our, you want the real deal or the fake? Or the cartoon heads. <laughs> but we'll keep on doing more of these. We want to do more of these because I thought sometimes it'd just be fun just to talk about the games that we've been playing. Hell yeah! And then also you get to see faces, and yeah. So we'll catch y'all on the next video. Catch you on the flip flop, my game bangers. Later. Later.